Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to be taking a look at Insa Elo. So this is the way the module looks, it's got a bright white background with a series of six different words at the top that are in a yellow, um, yellow background of blue text, along with two different symbols which we're going to be trying to identify here to help us choose one of these words. So this module is going to be in, uh, in, in Toki Pona, which is these symbols down at the bottom here. And what our goal is, is our goal is to get the English translation, um, or we're trying to get the translation for each of these, uh, and figure out what each of them combine into to potentially give us one of these words. Now, each of these are going to have a series of different definitions here. Um, and they could potentially be like thing, phenomenon, object, matter. There can be a series of different things. Uh, Isun, market, shop, etc., etc. There are a lot of different things that could potentially be um, defined here. But essentially what we want to do is we want to add these two words together to form one of these words as a description. So for example, one of the options that I had in a previous attempt was I had, for example, it was Tenpo and Sully as these two options here. And if we take a look at what these options are, if we go to Tenpo, this is time, duration, moment, occasion, period, situation. And Sully, uh, Sully, we scroll down here with the powers of control F. So uh, this also means big, heavy, large, long, tall, important, and adult. One of the words that I had present was a year. And this would work because of the fact that it is based off of time. Time is time is in a full year, and it's a large, uh, large time. In this case, um, a large time would be a year. This would work. This this fit the uh, the word that matches one of the options that were present on the module. Just like that, I was able to solve the module. So this is essentially what we're going to be doing here: is looking for each of these symbols, figuring out what their word associated with it is, and trying to combine these two here to form some sort of word that we can potentially press on the module. And most of these are pretty distinct. They are. There has been a case where it's been easy to choose um, which option it is. You just got to think about it a little bit. So uh, taking a look here, we have sort of like a clock um, that's pointing. Uh, it's currently 3, three o'clock, and the uh, minute hand is up the 12th. So this is going to correspond to tempo, which I just happen to have an example of. Now, uh, this sort of looks like a very, very, very lowercase v. Um, it's very small, so let's try and look for this. This is going to be trying to like find trying to find a needle in a haystack. Uh, the hardest part of this module is trying to find the symbols, but in this case, I found it right here, which corresponds to Lily. So uh, let's try and find what both these two words mean and see what we can do with this. So tempo, as we had beforehand, corresponds to time, duration, moment, occasion, period, and situation. And Lily, which is L-I-L-I, -L -I, corresponds to little, small, short, you a bit young. So we're looking for potentially a little time, which in, in immediately I can see up at the top left here, we have a second. Second is a, is a small amount of time, which in this case would be our answer. And just like that is a solved module. So let's take a look at these last two examples. This module is pretty straightforward with what it asks you to do, though describing the symbols can be a bit of a challenge. And that's probably the hardest part of it, and along with the expert part of finding these words, uh, the any symbols rather, in this display here. So let's take a look. Uh, immediately, we can just have this one on the left as sort of like a tic tac toe board. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Let's try and find that, which is going to correspond to non -call. And this one on the right side, it sort of looks like a. Um... Hmm, how do I describe this one? It reminds me of something like from Legend of Zelda, like uh, Twilight Princess or something like that. Um, but we have two boxes on the left side. We have a uh, uh, and it's like sort of like on a stick. Perhaps we can describe this as like a um, a fly swatter in some way, shape, or form. Except it's just a rather large fly swatter. Um, so let's take a look. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, not quite. Not quite the uh, Kapitnik, because of the fact that the largest wife water is on a hill. We don't want it on a hill. We want it on just by itself. So let's take, let's keep looking around for this. Uh, here we go. And it corresponds to Elo. Elo, okay. So let's try and find these guys here. So we have Nanpa. Uh, Nanpa, which corresponds to definitions of, um, of ordinal number. It's, okay, so it's going to be some sort of number here. Uh, so that potentially could be a 10 immediately right off the bat. Let's confirm what ELO means, just to make sure. Um, ELO. So let's find this in the definition here. A tool, implement, machine, and device. So 
Um, what this actually could be here is instead of 10, it could actually be a calculator because we're working with numbers, which is what the, um, the noun of numbers here means. Um, and this is referring to a tool specifically. So it's not the 10 because 10 is not a tool. It's merely a number. And calculator is our tool with numbers. So this would be our answer. Is the right and just that is good to go. Okay, let's take a look at this last example here. And let's see what we get. So this one has a triangle on the bottom and sort of like a bowl at the top. It's almost just like a half circle, um, which is what we could describe this as. So let's take a look for that. Hmm. The triangle is rather quite small. Uh, but in the meantime, I already found my other symbol for the right side here, which is like a triangle with an X. It's a rather quite large triangle, which is going to be corresponding to Pimjet. So right there. Um, let's take a look for that other one. This is being rather quite tricky. This is probably the hardest part of this module, is just finding the image that you need. Um, of course, I'm just casually being blind right now. So that's lovely. Here we go. Uh, Logi. So we have Loge, uh, Loge and, Pimji, and Pimja. So we have uh, Loge, which corresponds to uh, red or reddish. Okay, we have a couple different options. We could eventually do maroon. Okay, that's definitely looking very promising. And the other one we had uh, was Pimja. Pimja corresponds to uh, black, dark, and unlit. So it's red, but it's sort of darker which corresponds to maroon, which makes sense. Maroon is sort of a darker red color. And if we select this, and just like that, is a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.